Hey everyone, Ken from k &R Creative Woodworks in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how we uh, tint our finish or our clear coats to make colors that you can't usually usually find um, at your hardware store. So in particular, um, we're going to tint one of these scroll saw projects. Um, this is uh, our spiral ornament that we do quite a, quite a few of. Guys, if you haven't seen the process of this, um, just scroll, go through my videos here on YouTube or TikTok and um, you'll see the process of how these are cut. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the materials that we're going to be going or that we're going to be using and then we'll go through the process of mixing it and we'll do the first coat on one of these ornaments. So follow along. Guys, if you like the video, please follow or subscribe to me. That would be fantastic. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to need a sealable container. So we've got us a nice jar with the rubber rim on there. That'll seal up nice. This is a product we're using. It's water-based uh, clear gloss finish. Guys, we're also going to be using uh, powdered food coloring. So this is the dye that we're going to put in our clear gloss. Uh, crafter sticks, a little hanger. And of course, the ornament that we're gonna get to uh, dyeing here. So let's get started with mixing and uh, guys, follow along. All right, so first we're gonna start off with pouring some of this uh, clear gloss finish into the container. Just over half. Basically, I chose this container because that's uh, nice and deep. It'll take this whole ornament in there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add some of the powdered food coloring. So you're just going to add as much as you like so you get the color that you want. We'll start off with three scoops and see what that does. sure you mix it in thoroughly in other words you're not going to you're going to wind up having little chunks and stuff in there so obviously the more you add the deeper the color is going to be guys this is uh we're going to do this video full length so you're going to see how long this actually takes instead of fast forwarding through all the processes Obviously, you can fast forward if you like, because this is going to take a little bit to mix this up. So that's pretty light still, so I'm going to add a bit more. So we're just getting the excess off the rim so that it doesn't stick in there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. 
All right, so we're mixed up fairly well here. I think that's a good shade. We'll see what it looks like later when it dries. Um, but guys, this is a video basically just showing you uh, our process. Because like I said earlier, trying to go to a hardware store or something and find the different colors that you like is very difficult. So I just bought this uh, powdered food coloring at the bulk barn. So it's just a, a, in their baking area. Uh, powdered food coloring. I tried doing it with the liquid food coloring and I just can't get the colors right. They, they come out very pale. Um, so powdered seems to work the best. All right, so <clears throat> basically what we're going to do now is just dip it in. Um, let's see if I can move some stuff here. So we've got our, our ornaments. Now guys, um, if you're doing any kind of ornaments or anything, compound cuts on the scroll saws, there should be always something to hang your ornament from. So we just got the opening there. I took a, a bobby pin, bent it to shape it so that we can hang this. So we're just going to go inside here, give it a second to dip. Let it drip off a little bit. And then we're going to go in again and make sure that we're covering everything. So we'll let that drip off for a minute, collect all the excess. pretty much all there is to it guys this is a short quick video on, on mixing your own stuff so in this case today we use the varathane but you can also use polyurethane as long as it's water based um, I don't I'm not sure what the process would be or what the final outcome would be if you use an oil based finish I've never tried it with the uh, with the uh, powdered food coloring so that's something to experiment with if you like um, again this is water based finishes that we're using so varathane or polyurethane, your call, whichever product you like best, I suppose. And we'll just let that up there to hang. And we're just going to let it drip dry. So um, this isn't a point where you walk away from it. you got to let it drip and then as it's... When the drips slowly stop, then you want to collect at the bottom of your ornament. Otherwise, you're going to get a, a ball or a gob of, uh, of finish there. So we're just going to collect the residual stuff that's dripping off. And you give it about three to four hours. Um, it'll be dry. We'll take it down. Do a quick sand over it with 120 grit sandpaper. Um, dip again, let it hang, and then also collect all the excess till it stops dripping, and then your ornament's finished, or whatever project. Guys, this stuff, you could probably brush this on. I haven't, I don't do a lot of brushing, um, but you could brush this on as, an, as a good alternative to a, a, a stain or something like that. Um, just to remember, it is a clear coat. It dries fairly quickly, so uh, just be careful what you're, what you're doing with it. And that's the end of it, guys. This is, like I said, that's just a quick way to make uh, custom colors. We've done red, purple, black, green, um, blue. So uh, whatever whatever colors you can find the powdered food coloring in, that's what you can make your ornaments out of. Um, again, that, that ornament was made out of spruce, so a white wood, so it takes the colors real nice. Again, guys, whatever color you want. That's the process that I do it in. Again, if you want to see how uh, how we do the uh, ornaments, how we cut the spiral ornament, uh, just scroll through and you can see the videos for a little further down. Guys, that's all, that's it for this. Like Again, we're just going to uh, let that dry, sand it, and do a second coat. But the whole purpose of this video is just to show you how we mix the colors up for, uh, for our ornaments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you found it in informative. Uh, please give me a follow or subscribe.